are no extremists in Indonesia. What they only want is freedom. The British and Nika are the first class extremists here. They really crossing a line of humanity. Yesterday, America celebrated Thanksgiving Day. The day that Americans thank God for their freedom. But I can't join the celebration because I'm in the middle of people who fight with tears and blood for their own independence. The Dutch and Nika are the low life human of this earth. They tell each other that the British will occupy this nation while they are a bunch of cowards. Yeah, I think when you look at the history of colonialism, um, it's not only the, 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 you know, the European empires, they not only create like a very negative uh, picture of the, all the people that they colonized, but they also romanticized it in a way. And that is what is called Orientalism. So I can imagine, I don't know, but I can imagine that this uh, lady, Kututantri, um, was sort of maybe inspired in this same way, you know, by this in Orientalist thing, like, oh, going to Bali is exciting and beautiful and the people are still so close to nature or, or stuff like that, I don't know. Yesterday, America celebrated Thanksgiving Day, the day that Americans thank God for their freedom. But I can't join the celebration because I'm in the middle of people who fight with tears and blood for their own independence. The Dutch and Nika are the low life human of this earth. They tell each other that the British will occupy this nation while they are a bunch of cowards. Yeah, I had I just read out loud her words during the the public reenactment and in these words she's very outspoken against Dutch. So it was ironically, you know, me as a white Dutch woman saying that the Dutch are the British are the cowards and the real bad people who who uh, yeah who, who are uh, responsible of severe uh, human rights violations. I take part in this reenactment. I got a very negative response from the Netherlands. So someone who wrote an article said that, how can you, as a white person, a white Dutch person, how can you stand next to this war criminal? Yeah, my main question was how the Dutch propaganda still uh, continued until today. You did a research about Bung Tombo and his journey during Surabaya battle. Uh, can you describe us how is the relationship between Bung Tombo and Kedutantri at that time? In the Netherlands, he is viewed very negatively. So in the Netherlands, the Dutch historians write about him as if he, yeah, he was personally responsible for killings against uh, the Dutch and all the people related with the Dutch. And then. When I learned more about him also by going to Surabaya, I discovered that he is more a radio maker, a propagandist. He is not an active, also not really active actually in the fight in, on the streets. He was, he was just <laughs> reporting and, and encouraging people to, to resist. And then in not long after he established his uh, organization, the BPRI, he was introduced to this Kututantri. Meski tidak terlahir sebagai orang Indonesia, Muriel Stuart Walker atau Ketutantri dengan berani memilih Indonesia dan membela perjuangan bangsa Indonesia dengan semua risiko yang ada.